everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plans. Today, once again, we are back in my functional planner and this week I will be doing a full plan as I go. So today we're gonna get the base of the spread set up and then I will check back in with my planner every single day so you can see how I plan throughout the week and then at the end of the week, I will post this video. So right now it is the Saturday before the week we're gonna start in. So this is where I'm at in my spread this week. This one was also available in my monthly plan with me so you can check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But this week we are going to be planning for the week of 8 to 14. So right now, it, like I said, it's the Saturday before this week. So we're going to get the base of the spread set up. And then every day I'm going to try and check in and let you watch me add the stickers and build this out as I do throughout the week. So I'm really excited to share that with you. You may notice that the spread looks a little bit different. I did print my inserts to be every other week with the thicker columns versus the 1.5 inch. So this week we are in a thicker column week, which I'm actually not going to lie. I thought I would like the, the 1.5s better, but I kind of missed having the thicker column. So I'm excited for that. And this week I don't have a sticker kit or anything picked out. I actually just wanted to use some Simply Gilded washies that I haven't gotten a chance to use yet. So I bought these two in the in one of the fall releases, I think in the first fall release, but the foil, it said rose gold, but it ended up being very coppery. Um, and I don't like to mix my rose gold with my copper. So I haven't been able to use this any spreads. So I have a handful of other copper washies that match with this actually that came in one of the boxes. So I decided to pull those out and base the spread around that. Other than that, I'm just going to be using like solid color functionals from, from some uh, recollection sticker books that I have, which these are going to be coming mostly from the everyday basics and the heels and hustle. So I'll just be pulling in certain things that kind of like just go with it in the, in the pinks and the oranges and maybe the blues, teals family from, from these two things. So these two books do have gold foil, but I won't be using any of the gold foil stickers. I will be using the unfoiled sticker. So I'm going to pull these out and we can get started with the base of the spread. Okay, so I went and grabbed the uh, the washies that were from the kit that some of these washies that came from. The pumpkins were not from that kit, but this this like pale pink and uh, these other washies were. And that was the, I think it's called Fancy Fit. It was kind of like the Art Deco box box and it had copper foil and since I don't use copper foil I actually left all of the stickers together usually I do like store the stuff separately but so we have these here and I thought I could pull some of this stuff in here I won't be using like the full boxes from this and stuff because I don't like to write I mean the half boxes because I don't like to write on the simply gilded stickers I don't like the way the paper feels but I thought some of the icons and I what I really wanted was the date dots so that the foil would match there so I'm going to use some of this I'm not going to use the date covers though I don't like this to look like too too busy but yeah, so we are gonna get this all set up. Um, so let me just tell you, I have been really, really happy with functional planning lately. I may change up my layout a little bit for, um, for the month of December. I'm still deciding, but I don't love like the top sections here. And the reason that I wanted to try those out is because I've been thinking about the plum paper vertical priorities planner and I still might get that I'm not sure but I'm still exploring my options because I actually really miss having a sidebar that runs down the way I think and I think I like that kind of better than the top section but I'm not really sure yet I don't know I um I'm just like really feeling functional planning lately just maybe not I haven't found like the perfect spread or anything like that if that makes sense but I'm having just a lot of fun with it right now um okay so I am gonna do some decorating this is not like too busy of the week but I do want to do like a section for next week and like a like a top to do section up at the top as well so I'm gonna get some of the decoration stuff set up and I'm gonna speed through that and then I will be right back
Okay, so that's a pretty decorative top, um, and I did end up using this one full back sideways to cover up the line. So I'm gonna use this for next week, and this is gonna be like for my big to-dos of the week. And so the big to-dos here are gonna actually be some Thanksgiving prep, uh, which we really need to do this week. Um, I'm gonna get the kids' bathroom organized. It's like one of the last rooms in the house that has not been decluttered. We have done a major declutter this fall. Uh, so that is gonna be done. And then work-wise, I need to do some prep work for something the following week. And then I also want to have lots of like relax and me time, which I did put there. So I'm gonna leave this one blank. So that is like kind of, this is, this week is kind of the calm in between a work storm this past week and Thanksgiving storm, which is coming. So I want to make sure I get some downtime and get some things set up. Um, I'm really excited for like planner launches and all that kind of stuff too. So just going to be like a, a super chill fun week and that sticker is like very peely. Okay. And then this remember is going to be for my next week stuff. And then the biggest thing there for next week is going to be this work thing. And I don't know anything else about next week, so I'm going to leave that blank. So that is kind of like my top section. This I'll use to take notes throughout the week. Unfortunately, we'll have to grab a Sharpie if I want to do that, because I just don't like the way regular pens write on the Simply Gilded stickers, and that's why I almost never use those. But okay. Anyway, so for the day-by-day -day stuff, I'm going to do some checklists and I will do one on Monday and I'm gonna like just run it from right here. Where are my tweezers? Like I said, this week it's just, I just don't have a lot going on and work-wise and stuff because I just finished a huge project. So I do have like a couple of things, but not a ton. So I'm going to start with doing checklists on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, which are usually days that I can get like a good chunk of stuff done because the kids are at school. So if I don't have a lot of work, I can, you know, focus on that. I'm going to save this last checklist. I may use this on Tuesday, but I'm going to wait and see. So that's that. And then on for the this stuff. So the way that I use these is the top section is like uh, any appointments or priorities. The middle is work and then this is like to do. So I won't know too much in here. But in terms of appointments this week, we on Tuesday, I do want to mark something. And that's this happy mail thing. So which I usually wouldn't mark, but I ordered this special new printer paper that's 40 pound weight. It was really hard to find and I'm really excited. Um, and it's supposed to come on Tuesday. It took forever to come. Okay, so that'll be really cool. And then I'm gonna print my Thanksgiving inserts and my December inserts on that new paper, hopefully as long as it's good. And then Wednesday I have for the big work project that was last week, there is a live Q and A on Wednesday. So there's not like too much prep that needs to be done for this, but, um, and it won't like the session is only like 15 minutes long. It's just that, it, you know, you have to be like called in and all of that stuff. So I'm going to put that up there. Um, and then on Thursday, we have our cleaning people, and I'm actually going to put that one down here, and I'll mark whatever else on the top. And then on Saturday, I actually have a bridal shower, so I'm just going to put that here, and I'm going to grab the Sharpie to write again. And that's actually it appointment-wise, so work-wise, I'm going to do that section next. I actually think I might use some of these like book hearts, just, you know, why not? I'm never going to use these stickers with a non-copper spread. So I've got writing stuff to do on Monday. This is just like regular and I'm covering for someone else's regular writing this week, but these are like shorter bullet based things. It just doesn't like, it doesn't take a super long time. And then I 
definitely, if I haven't already, want to make sure that I get the thing that's due next week and spend like a, a like a chunk of time working on that, like maybe like a, a couple of hours. Uh, hopefully, you know, I could do like four hours total this week, but I probably will like bulk lead that on to Friday. So maybe I'll do an hour one day, an hour another day, and then two hours on Friday, something like that. And then I think that's actually it work-wise as well. Besides, um, I also put in the, the live show here. Or maybe I'll just use this like meeting one because it's kind of a meeting. No, you know what? I don't like that. All right, so this is from one of the sticker books, the, the high heels one, the hustle and heels one. So I'm going to do this sticker. And yes, I do realize that I just put those both in, but I'm going to write the time on this one, which is 1030. Okay. So that is it for work stuff that I know so far. Stuff comes up, you know how it is. Uh, and then I do also think on Monday I'm going to try and do some filming because I just got my nails done and my nails will still look good and I'll have some time so I'll make like a little film list over here and I'll see what I get done there. Um, well I could have used a camera but whatever. Okay uh, and then I have videos up so maybe I'll use the cameras for that. I have videos up on Tuesday and Friday this week. The Tuesday one is already uploaded. I've been trying to like upload in advance. So that's going to be a plan with me. I don't know what Friday is going to be yet, but stay tuned. So this is going to be, or will have been by the time you see this, this is going to be a fall plan with me. Uh, so this was from the week of the 11th. It's a really cute Chris press kit. You can check it out. I'll try and remember to link it in the cards. But anyway, if not, it's just my last plan with me that was up. Okay, I'm also going to put this meal plan sticker. I'm going to put this down at the bottom. I almost always do like some kind of dinner meal planning on Mondays and then on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, as I discussed last week, I do lunch prep. And I actually have like a ton of lunch <laughs> type stickers. So I'm going to do this one. It's kind of fun with the icons. And then I'm also going to put a big one on Sunday. That is our big meal prep. So those are things that happen every week, but still going to put it down. And then there's also a grocery sticker. So I'm going to stick that right above it because we usually go grocery shopping on Sundays too. Okay, and then the other big thing that I want to put on Wednesday, not a big thing, but I'm going to, this is the day that I'm going to print my Thanksgiving inserts. Since I will have the paper and it gives me plenty of time, they're about half designed right now, so I will share those definitely on Instagram, but also maybe here once they're done. But I think that's actually everything that I know so far. So here is what my week looks like to start. Oh, the last thing that I do want to mark is, of course, our favorite, and I'll use another kind of meal icon over for takeout Thursdays. And then... I have a couple other things that I could put in, but I'm going to leave some space. I may put in like some TV shows we've been watching pretty much like when they come out. We watch Succession on Mondays and then we watch like Dope Sick on Thursdays when it usually with our takeout. So that's kind of been our TV schedule lately. We don't have like anything we're binging right now. Um, but yeah, so anyway, okay, that is it for my preliminary setup. So I will be back at some point on Monday. Okay, now by the magic of editing, it is now Monday. It's actually just after lunchtime. 
and I would usually have done this right first thing in the morning, but just with how my work schedule works on Monday, I decided to just go ahead and do my work first and then do this. I haven't really done any like at home to do's yet, but now I'm done my work for the day and I can focus on the rest of that. I do want to just show this really quickly. This is a printable from uh, Moxie Life and I just printed that out to help me sketch out the day and also write down some to do's that I didn't want to forget before I put them in my planner. Now usually I would just put things directly in my planner but since I am filming this week I did just want to share that so that's something a little bit out of the ordinary that I might do throughout the week to just kind of keep things going for uh, for the filming purposes. And then some of these I marked for today and some of them I just marked as things I wanted to get done over the course of the week. So that is why I kind of have that and I'm just really, um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. So today, again, it's Monday. Before I forget, I have one thing for Thursday that I do need to mark down that I did not put in during the pre-planning. So I just grabbed this in kind of this marbly, well not this marble one, but it's like the same shape as this. It's again, this is from the Heels and Hustles recollection sticker book. And that is my son is supposed to dress like a farmer for school this day. He's actually super excited about it because he has like this plaid shirt that he calls his farmer shirt that he really loves. So he's gonna wear that. Um, okay, so that's what I needed to remember for Thursday. Now on to Monday, I did not have any appointments or anything today and I didn't put anything up there and I will probably just like washy that off later or maybe even use a full box, but I'm gonna wait and see how the rest of the day goes first. I always do the decorative stuff either at the very end of the day, like at night, or just first thing in the morning when I when I go to plan the next day. So I will film that, but it's not gonna be right this second. But I did have one more work thing that I ended up needing to do today. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little flag for it. Uh, it was like an email, not a mail thing, but that's fine. I had to submit some questions for the like live Q and A sections. They just like to have extra ones in case, you know, there aren't a lot of questions that come through during the presentations. I, I think that I would, they will we'll get enough, but just in case, you know, they like to have some backup questions. Um, so I did, I did, I did actually just do that, but I'm gonna mark it in anyways that I did it. And it's great because you can send ones for yourself, but you can also send them in for like other people that are presenting. So like, it, it, which is really helpful because then they can just like select from a bunch of different questions, things that will help people watching, even if they don't, you know, go through the question process. And of course they give priority to people who are like paying for the webinar to actually, if they have questions, they obviously prioritize that over like questions sub submitted by employees. But anyway, it's just really helpful to have. Um, and then in terms of to do's, the, this is not like a big deal, but the biggest to do that I have to do today is I have to run the dishes. We had um, my parents over for dinner last night and we literally used like every single fork that we had left. So I'm running the dishwasher and I need to unload that as well before dinner tonight so that we have silverware. Um, I calibrated my silhouette machine last night because it had not been working lately and I like did a thing and I want to do a test cut today of something um, to see if it's working because I have some stuff that I want to make later in the week including uh, a card for this bridal shower. I want to make like a really cute fancy card for that um, so I want to make sure my silhouette is working correctly now. I also uh, want to just tidy the kids' rooms because they are just really big mess right now um, because the kids were just throwing stuff everywhere last night. Um, so I'm gonna tidy the kids' rooms. And then the last thing that I'm gonna put in here, um, oh, I don't actually need to put, I was gonna say film, but I actually has have a film section right here, so that's perfect. Um, and I wanna work on my uh, Thanksgiving inserts today. I, I'm so close to finishing them, I just have to do do like two more spreads and then they'll be ready to print. Um, so I'm gonna just work on those today because I need to do a test print of them before I do like the full print once my paper comes just because they these were a little bit more complicated than previous inserts that I've made because they have a lot of different spreads but I'm really excited for them. So I will share them once I have them done. Um, and then other than that, I'm gonna mark this down even though it already happened so I don't really need to. But I was just, I was just doing like a 
I just got super, super into Instagram Reels <laughs> lately, um, which I hadn't really watched a lot of them before, but I really love them. So I filmed some stuff to try and kind of make them. I've posted a few so far, um, but I filmed a bunch more uh, to like try and make them. I just think they're really fun. Um, and I like don't have a uh, TikTok or anything. So I, this is like my first uh, with, with the Instagram Reels. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I, uh, Yeah, so you can check that out on my Instagram if you want, but that is pretty much everything. I'm going to leave this space here because I don't know if what if I'm going to have more to-dos in the afternoon. I also did grab out some dot markers. Uh, and I just put them in my little ba uh, my little basket. So I have these two, which are Clean Colors Zig ones, which is like the real brand of dot markers. And then this brown one is actually just like from an Amazon brand. Um, and I originally bought these because I didn't want to pay for the Zig ones, but they bleed so much. So then I bought the Zig ones, but those also bleed a lot. I don't know. I've been just using both of them for now and I'm like trying to get a feel for them. And then I'm going to film like a kind of comparison video, like uh, are these worth the price type thing? Because these are about half the price of the Zig ones. So uh, yeah, so that's going to be coming. But I, again, I want to wait for this paper to come because I really am curious to see how everything works on that 40, on that 40 pound paper. But anyway, other than that, I have to, obviously I'm filming this right now and then I also want to start my um my plan with me from last week and I think I have some a little bit of haul stuff so I just usually film the haul stuff in like short batches as stuff comes in but so I have something left to film for that and actually you know what I'm gonna uh just give this these little ones yeah Ooh. That one in right there is not not the right size, but anyway, um, these do they all work the same? That looks kind of awful, but you can see, kind of. Oh, actually, that's that one didn't ghost that bad, or there's a sticker in front of it, but they these do like just ghost really really badly. Um, anyway, I actually hate how that looks. Okay, I settled on that. I just could not, I, I don't know. The medium sized dots are really easy. It's, you can't really do like a super tiny dot. Um, let me just fix that whiting out a little, uh, a little bit more. This white out is about to be out. And then the last thing that I need to do for right now is I did actually already meal plan for Monday through Wednesday. I thought that would be easier to film this after I did that too so that I could just write it in. And this is usually how I do it. I will meal plan for Monday through Wednesday, then Thursdays we get takeout, and then on Friday I will just decide that day of and then we kind of figure out the weekend as we go along. So that's typically uh, how we do this over here. So tonight we're going to have shrimp pasta with spinach. Tomorrow we're going to have a tray bake of chicken and cauliflower. And then I'm either do potatoes or rice with that, but I'll decide tomorrow. And then on Wednesday we will do steak with asparagus. So my husband does our grocery shopping usually, um, and I do the meal planning after. We have like a good flow, so he knows like how many vegetables and how many meats and all of that kind of stuff to get. And we typically buy our meat in bulk at Costco anyways, and we don't, we just like supplement it slightly um, in the week to week, but we typically buy all our meat at Costco like once a month or once every six weeks or so. And we have a deep freezer in our basement. So, and then this will, what if, if we have potatoes with the chicken, we'll have rice with the steak. And if we have rice with the rice with the chicken, then we'll have potatoes with the steak. So whichever the opposite is, but I'm not going to, I'll put that in um, on Tuesday or on Wednesday when I decide that. But anyway, that is everything for a Monday. So I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, so it's actually Monday night and I'm going to go to bed in a little bit, but I had a minute now and I thought I would just do this now since the baby is home with me tomorrow and that way it's all set up for tomorrow. So I'm just going to finish out Monday and then go ahead and do Tuesday. The last other thing I'm going to do before I go to bed here is I'm actually going to pull stickers uh, for a plan with me tomorrow, which I started filming already. I filmed half of it the base of the spread already today and I'm just gonna film the rest of it 
um, tomorrow, which is usually speaking my preferred way to uh, plan a plan like a memory spread because I find that it's really long if I do it all in one day. Um, I think it probably takes me like two hours to do a memory spread all in, um, but. Yeah, so I, I maybe like 90 minutes, two hours. So anyway, I like to do it, the base of the spread in one day and the rest of the spread in the, the next day. Usually that's what I do anyways. That looks cute, kind of like that. I'm gonna... Okay, so that's kind of cute. And then I'm just gonna put some washi and stuff up here. Um, I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of that pumpkin washi. I didn't end up needing that space for anything. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out Tuesday. Actually, I'm going to add one more dot here as well. And then I on to Tuesday, uh, what we've got going on. I just have a just do a quick note for work. I'm sure more stuff will come up since it's like the day before this session, but I'm just gonna leave that for right now. So I will circle back with that if I need to, but then on to the uh, rest of the day here. I would like to take a walk tomorrow since the weather is supposed to be really, really nice and the, I have the baby home with me on Tuesdays so I can we can go for a good stroller walk and then it is also gonna be laundry day and I'm actually gonna mark a few different loads I think I'll try and do three loads of laundry we actually have two washing machines because when we bought the house uh, the people left like a really old one and um, it was in the basement it is in the basement and we actually as part of our construction put a laundry room in our mud room and so we bought new machines for that but kept uh, the old machines which like I don't like to wash our delicates in there or anything but I can wash like the kids clothes or more often like shop teeth sheets and towels and stuff like that and it's really really nice because there are five people in the family so we have quite a bit of laundry um i'm gonna finish filming tomorrow and then one last thing I want to work on the card for that wedding tomorrow now that I did actually test my silhouette today and it is working again so that is good or at least it seems to be so hopefully um, that keeps working. I really want to make like it's the super cute card something I saw where you can do like a shaker patch on the inside and like do this whole cutout thing so anyway that is what I'm gonna put for Tuesday I did not write in to walk and then um, yeah so that is everything I know for right now for Tuesday so I will be back if I have anything else for work or priorities like I, and by, for my priorities, I usually just stick to things that are like scheduled for a specific time or a deadline, not like the top thing I want to accomplish that day, if that makes sense. But anyway, that is my Tuesday. So I will be back at some point, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, it is actually Wednesday morning, super early, uh, like 8.30, not that that's really early, but I just got back from dropping the kids at carpool, and I am going to go ahead and just finish up, like, Tuesday, just covering the other two parts with just some washi because I did not need the space, and, you know, I like a spread to look complete. That's why I actually, so I really like the daily format of the... Uh, the Moxie Life planner and I'm thinking about getting one of the daily planners um, 
but I don't think I could use it every day because it's just like too much white space and I can't leave it alone. Like I have to fill every inch of a planner, which is why the weekly layout is more manageable for me. Even though for like a super busy day, I do actually really, really like the, uh, the Moxie Life. So I'm just gonna put some more washi here to cover it as one does. Um, but yeah, yesterday I was so tired. I honestly like don't know what was going on. I was just exhausted all day. So I didn't get as much done as I would have liked. Um, I did get like a, a pretty decent amount done, but I didn't finish f uh, filming the plan with me. I just, I don't know, it just takes like a lot of creative energy to, to do that level of stickering and I just did not have it in me. Um, so I instead, when my paper came, I actually worked on my Thanksgiving inserts. I got them all printed, they look amazing. I love the new paper, but it's very thick. So I am gonna see how I feel about the Thanksgiving ones before I commit to printing December on it and I'll do like a full thing with that. But I did get all of the laundry done. I did get all of the work prep and everything done. I actually did work on the card. Uh, let me show you what I have. So here is like what I'm gonna use to make the card. It's just like this little silhouette cut out and I, my machine is definitely working so we are good there. So I'm gonna put this like on a paper and put like a shaker pouch with a bunch of glitter behind it. So anyway, that's what that's gonna look like. I'm really excited. I'll probably show you the whole thing, but I'll also show it on my Instagram. Um, anyway, so that is that, and that is everything for Tuesday. Uh, the only thing is before I switch Tuesday, I'm actually just gonna run um, these arrows like this at the bottom here because I ended up swapping the these two dinners. We had chicken on Sunday and I just like was not ready to eat chicken again. Um, so I just went ahead and we had the steak last night except for we actually had lamb chops. So I'll fix that in a second um, and I'll do the chicken tonight now that it's been a few more extra days. Okay, so then this we actually just did have lamb chops um, instead, and so I'm just gonna fix that for accuracy. It obviously already happened. And then actually the other thing is now we are, uh, I asked my mom, I forgot that I asked my mom to babysat on, to babysit on Thursday last week, and then I saw her and she reminded me. So my mom is babysitting on Thursday so that we can go out. And I knew there was a date night sticker in my Heels and Hustle book, so I just found that. So I'm obviously I'm gonna use that because we I like honestly we haven't been out to dinner with just the two of us since the summer. Um, because yeah, that's we haven't. So anyway, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, you know what? That's not pulling up nicely. I wanna I wanna keep this meal sticker, but I also wanna just um, use this date night sticker. Okay, so like that, and then I can write in the restaurant we're gonna go to, which, which I actually haven't decided yet. That's going on today's task list. Okay, so then in terms of today, um, I am about to do all of my work as soon as I'm done filming this. And then in terms of other things, I have this picture that needs to be framed for my husband's office. Uh, and then we, I need to uh, book our dinner somewhere. And, um, I need to have, like, I need to finish my plan with me. I'm not going to, like, write that in because I obviously still haven't checked it off there. But I am going to have, like, a little planner brainstorm this afternoon. Um, I just have, like, a lot of planner stuff going on. And I'm also going to finish the Thanksgiving inserts. So I did already print them, so they're all set up. But I still need to, like, cut and collate them and everything. So I'm going to do that and I will you know, count that as that. I'm not gonna rewrite anything there. And then I'm gonna do the bathroom declutter because I don't think it's gonna take that long. Okay, and then in addition to that, to put down here, um, I'm gonna put this over here. We, uh, the kids like absolutely trashed the playroom either last night or this morning. I'm honestly not sure when it happened uh, because I didn't, I wasn't in there last night and it is, it's rough in there. So we need to have a, a super pre-clean tidy today um, 
because the cleaning people are coming tomorrow. And I'm just going every other day with the brown and the pink, although I guess I used the brown yesterday too. Um, I don't know. Anyway, we're just mixing it up. Um, so yeah, so we need to have a super pre-clean tidy. And then last, I need to put one more thing. Yeah, I actually don't know. So I'm gonna save that space and then I will put some washi there if I don't need anything else uh, or if I think of anything else to do later. I just wanna focus on getting my work done and then I wanna try and have like a really productive day because even though I did some stuff yesterday, I actually just don't feel like I was productive. I think it's just cause I was so tired at night um, and I didn't really do, you know, like, that much stuff in the evening or in the afternoon I was just kind of like blah but anyway okay so that is it for Wednesday I will be back either later today or tomorrow okay it's Wednesday a little before lunchtime I did this I had like a really great planner brainstorm session last night and also watched um the moxie life live reveal of their stuff for this year. I'm super pumped on it. I have not set annual goals since 2018 and that year I had a baby and then ended up going back to work and then quitting my job and uh yeah none of my goals. I obviously I gave up on on some of that stuff pretty quickly um and I'm really excited to do some annual goals this year and I'm like really into the moxie life stuff right now so I think that is what I'm going to be doing and I um, think I'm going to do the companion notebooks but stay tuned for my full planner lineup which I will definitely do a video of once I figure absolutely everything out but I had like a really good I really enjoyed the live and getting to see everything and then also just like doing a brainstorming session I was like doing other stuff while I was watching it because that's a long time to be you know uh, on something but it was really I was doing like other planner stuff so I felt like it went really well so I did want to just put that in and then I'm just gonna put a little washi up here because I don't whoops need everything else I'm just like knocking everything over here okay but so first up I did make reservations last night so I do know where we're going for dinner, we're going to this place that has like this really cool outdoor heated patio and it should be good. It's like very date nighty. So fun stuff going on there. And then uh, one thing that I do want to just mark on Friday here and I'm just going to use, uh, you know what, I used the, I'm going to use the, the, the marble one because I just used a, a green one on the section underneath and I really need to do work tomorrow because I have not done anything related to my stuff for next week yet, um, which is fine. I have plenty of time to get it done, but the more I get done this week, the less I have to do next week because it has to publish next week either way. Uh, the baby needs wipes, more wipes to school. So she got a note home in her lunchbox. Okay. Then I don't think I have anything doing on Friday that I also that I know, but so on back on to Thursday, uh, one thing that I am going to mark down that I like already did today. And I use this for that is that we went, we had to do an Amazon return. Um, and I did it like at the locker because if you, if they have to like pick it up at your house, then you don't get the full refund. And this was like shoes that didn't fit one of the kids. So, uh, and I had to like reorder them in a different size. So I returned them and we just dropped it off of the locker. It was very easy. So I'm going to do, I, so I did that, um, but I'm going to bark it anyways. Uh, the other things that I need to do, I'm going to use this last checklist because I do have, uh, I do want to just actually just use this checklist. I'm never sure on Thursdays, like how much I'm going to get done. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to put it here towards the bottom. Um, and I'm going to put, we, uh, after that we went to the playground and it was really fun, cute playground time. So I'm going to use I use this heart for that. All right, 
obviously this is like post I don't even need to put this but I'm going to because I don't need all of this space okay I want to finish my Thanksgiving inserts um they're all printed I need to just like cut and collate them and then I have I want to edit um I need to unload the dishwasher and I want to finish that card And that's like actually what I'm going to work on. These three things I'm going to work on right now after this. Um, and then there's one other last little thing that I want to do. Uh, that is like, I had a really good planner think last night. And I think I'm pretty sure, I am probably already said this. I'm pretty sure I want to, I know what I'm going to do exactly with all the planners for 2022. Um, I just am messing around with a few things. So stay tuned. Uh, anyway, that I'm going to mark that down there. And then I feel like there was one more thing that I needed to write down. Oh yeah, I got it. Uh, my, oh my gosh, I had some car shenanigans yesterday. Um, and I have no idea what was going on and my check engine light went on and now it's off and I don't know. The, I called this morning, but they couldn't, they couldn't see me for like a month, but they were like, well, the mechanic can call you back and then we can, uh, and then if he says like, you need to come in, you can come in. So I need to like follow up and make sure that they actually call me, like that the dealership actually does call me back because yeah, shenanigans, I and I can't handle that. Okay, so that's actually done. Then the rest of the stuff I do actually need to do. Um, I'm not doing any work stuff today and I'm just gonna cover this now and then when Thursday will be completely done and I will check back on uh, Friday. I just cut down a little piece of a full box and I'm gonna use that as kind of like, oh. I cut that way too thin. I was gonna say I cut that to be the size of the box, but it's like not. That's fine. I'm gonna. I've got the other strip, which I did not trim long ways. All right, let's just do like that, and then I will trim it. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. This is like a pro tip for pulling up stickers, but if you are working with paper that is not the most sticker friendly, which this is like not that bad, but it is still printer paper. Uh, it's the Accent Opaque 32. But if you stick a sticker to your skin first and then put it on, it, it pulls up much easier. So anyway, that is what my day is looking like. We are all set there and I will be back tomorrow. Okay, so I am back. It is Friday morning and I am a uh, ready to go but feeling a little bit lazy uh we had a really super fun time on our date late date night last night i definitely drank a bit too much and i'm a little bit slow to start this morning but that's okay because i actually don't have a busy day um and i actually think what i'm gonna do today and it's gonna be the first thing that i mark up at the top here and i'm just gonna use this oh i don't like that color uh I feel like this is supposed to be medical, but I'm going to go ahead and use it like this. Anyways, um, I am actually going to mark that I'm going to do a timer's day today. So what that means is I find that this works really well if I have work that I want to get done, but I'm not on a deadline. I'm just like such a deadline oriented person that either I end up doing absolutely nothing for the work or I end up just like doing way too much work than like way more than I need to and just like crushing myself under the work. So the timers worked really well. So basically you just set a timer for a certain amount of time, like an hour or two hours, whatever. And you just work in that time. I mean, obviously I give myself a few minutes of wiggle room, um, to, you know, finish what I'm like, to get to a good stopping point. But basically, you know, I'll set a timer and I'll work for an hour. And then after that hour, I will move on and do something else. And then when it's time to go back to work, I'll set another timer or you know, I did this to like help myself motivate myself when I was clearing out the basement too, because I really didn't like being down there. So I would be like, okay, I'm just going to go down there for 30 minutes. Um, and so I find that that works really well. So I'm going to do a timer's day today because I want to work on do, do some work for the thing that's due in next week. Um, 
but I don't want to spend like the whole day working. Uh, also, I forgot to do the wipes to school this morning, even though it was in my planner. So I'm going to move that to next week and I will pack that on Monday. Um, and then what else do I need to get done? I do have one other work thing that I need to mark here. Um, I use this one. I got a client question that I need to answer. So I'm just going to mark that. In. Okay, and then in terms of to do's, I did pretty well yesterday. I didn't do the last planner thing I wanted to do, and I didn't really get enough time to edit since we went out last night. So I am gonna do an edit, and also I want to just do like a video um, planning session, like like plan out what my next weeks or next few weeks videos are gonna be. Um, so I just wanna plan out the video schedule there. I was actually just going through my footage and I thought I lost my whole Halloween memory plan with me. I could not find the footage, but I did finally find it. It took like 15 minutes um, and I had to like search for it. So anyway, but I did have it. I just got like moved to a weird folder for some reason. Don't know how that happened. Um, I'm also gonna do like finish that planner thing I wanted to do and I'm also gonna tidy up and I actually think I'm gonna do some of this video stuff first because my work is not super pressing and nor is it like super challenging thinking wise because I do my best work in the morning um so usually if I have to do something really like thoughty or analytical I will do it first thing in the morning but it's today is the review crew moxie life videos and I want to watch some of them so I think I'm going to do some planner stuff while I watch some of those review videos and then and I'll switch over and start doing some work. So that is what I'm going to put there. Um, and actually, I think I'll just put in that I'm going to watch those today. In case you can't tell, I am really hyped up for 2022 planners. Moxie Life, but other planners too. So I am just really, really feeling the new release season this year. So... I'm really just, I'm very excited. I can't wait to get all this stuff. I'm excited for annual goals. My husband and I were actually like talking about goals last night at dinner and just different stuff. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really just feeling really amped on the whole thing. Okay, I don't, I don't know what we're going to have for dinner yet today. I'll pick that later. So I'll mark that in later. And then, um, I don't, let me see. I don't know what else is going to happen. I'm not going to put anything else here for right now. I am going to do that, but I am going to mark on Sunday. Uh, we are actually going to do a test run turkey because we are planning. We already, we have like, well, we already own, have two turkeys plus a third one on order. We're planning to cook two turkeys for Thanksgiving. Um, oh, actually, psh, I know exactly what I'm going to put here right next to this. Uh, I need to do some... Thanksgiving planning. Um, I print the inserts are all done now and I need to like actually start doing some menu planning so I can start giving people assignments and stuff. Uh, but we are going to do a test run of the turkey on Sunday um, of the turkey that we're planning to smoke because we've never smoked a turkey before and we want to make sure that it actually tastes good. Otherwise, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Obviously, and more, we'll just cook them both in the oven, which I've definitely done before. Uh, this is not our first Thanksgiving. It's just our largest ever. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a trial run of smoking the turkey. We've been smoking a lot of stuff uh, pretty much all fall and summer and love it. And we may do a brisket too, uh, just to mix things up. Um, but yeah, we want to do a trial run of the turkey. So we have a turkey defrosting now to do a trial smoking run. So that is what we're going to do this weekend. And it takes a long time. So I'm going to mark that here. And then I think that's it so far for today so I will be back later or for the weekend but real quick before I do go let me just show you the card that I did end up making I think it turned out so so cute I'm really excited about this honestly it was really fun to make and like paper craft and card making is actually one of the reasons I bought a silhouette so I'm really happy to use it that way I think it looks really cute I had so much fun with the glitter pouch anyways I think it came together really nicely and I'm not sure depending on when I next film I may have already been to the shower, so I just wanted to make sure I showed you that really quick. Anyway, now I will be back uh, at some point over the weekend. Okay, so it is actually Saturday morning, which is sooner than I thought I would be back, but I did all of this, uh, and I did this, um, and I don't have anything else to put on Friday. For dinner last night, we did have some meatloaf, which actually it turned out so well. Um, 
and we had that with mushrooms and noodles for the kids. Okay, so that's that, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of washi right there, and then I'm actually just gonna do the whole rest of the weekend today so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow, and we'll be all done, and I will have this video up uh, pretty soon, early next week, and yeah, I'm just not gonna, you know, worry about it. I don't usually use my planner, like, as much on the weekend, which is why I like the split days for the weekend. It's good to just mark some stuff, but I don't I don't usually look at my planner a lot because I'm not in my office a lot over the weekend. Anyway, okay, so that is all, everything all set up for Friday. So then for the weekend, my uh, husband actually surprised me. I don't know if that's the right word, but yesterday he just texted me and was like while he was at work and he was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna take the kids to my mom's house in the morning and you can just have the whole morning off before you go to the bridal shower. So I have a whole, like, almost the whole day free from the kids by the time I get back from the bridal shower. It'll be, like, after naps, and I'll just have, like, inter... inter um, afternoon... Oh, after nap time with them. I don't know why I can't speak. So I am actually... There is actually a, a sticker right in the Sales and Hustle book that says taking the day off. So I am actually going to put that there which it's all, it's so nice. I honestly, like when I had my first kid, it was like, you could not pull me away from the baby. Uh, you know, it was like so hard to let go. And now, uh, my favorite like joking answer when everyone, when anyone asks like, what do you do for self care? I'm like, the, my, the most supreme pleasure of my life is knowing that my children are awake and being watched by someone else. Um, anyway, that is, uh, that is my little, I mean, I love my kids and I love being with my kids, but it is always nice to get a little time away uh, and to myself that is like non-working time. Although I am actually gonna do a little bit of work this morning because I didn't get as much done yesterday as I would like, okay. So I think I'm gonna do, um, you know, I don't know why I'm trying to squeeze stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna mark the, I have to do a bunch of laundry. Honestly, some of this stuff is gonna span both days. So I need to do uh, some laundry and I'm gonna do like a little a double list here. Um, and actually I might even do Three. Okay. Okay, so three loads of laundry this weekend is the on the agenda there. And then I am just gonna mark like a teensy bit of work as well. We watched Shang-Chi last night, which you'll see when I do my memory planner. I'm not gonna like go in and put TV shows, but uh, yeah, so we, so and we're so good. Okay, so that is what we're gonna do here. I need to do like just a little bit more. I'm just gonna try and do um, a little bit more this morning. And I'm also gonna wash my hair. Uh, and by that, I mean like wash, blow dry, and flat iron it for this party. <laughs> um, Obviously this is not like day in order anymore, but that's okay uh, because basically I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do right now is finish filming this. I'm gonna go tidy up the house uh, because the kids like threw, were playing with the winter hats this morning and they're everywhere. Um, and then I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna take a shower. Then I'm gonna tidy up the house. Then I'm gonna blow dry my hair. Um, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fix that one, that this one nail, so sorry about that. Um, and then I am going to do my work, and then if I have any more time before we have to leave to the party, I'm gonna chill out and do whatever, enjoy it. Um, honestly, I'll even enjoy the whole thing, just very relaxing. Um, and then tomorrow, we're gonna do the trial, uh, the trial smoker thing. This today sticker, uh, I don't like, other than that, it's just gonna be, you know, like tidying and all that good stuff. And I'm just gonna write, this will be my, our family time day. And yeah, I think I'll just squeeze a little piece of washi in right there and I will call it a day on this week. 
Uh, so thank you for coming along with me on this functional plan with me journey. I'm um, just thinking if there's anything else I, so I use this when I do my like initial setup for the next week, I will use my things for next week. So I'm just going to take a look and see if there's anything else that I need to do. I got this done. I got this done and I got this done, um, all this week. And so I obviously the biggest thing next week is going to be work. I'm going to say like more tea day stuff for next week. I need to like, I texted a few people what they are responsible for bringing. So we'll keep going with all of that good stuff. And then also the... I'm just gonna put this, the Moxie Life release. I'm really excited for that. And that is actually the last 2022 planner that I need to order because I have ordered my memory stuff. I've ordered my functional planner. So I'm just getting that for goal setting. I can't wait to show you everything that I have. That will be coming in December. Very exciting. I'm just gonna put a dot there cause it looks kind of empty. Um, and yeah, and then I think we can call this a day or a week. So anyway, thank you for coming along with me all along on this whole functional plan with me journey. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you're excited about for Thanksgiving and I will see you all next time. Bye.